Hello Internet, and welcome back to Shifeng Plays Vagante. This is going to be a little bit of an interesting episode, because it's going to be the first episode after uh, being away from the game and away from the channel for a little while. And so, let's see. Okay, so this arrow trap right here is pretty problematic right away, but it looks like I can trigger it with an arrow. And let's see if I can get... yeah, that guy triggered it for me. So now, uh, fighting these two is going to be a bit of a trick, because... Well, first of all, I have to remember what my buttons are. I've been away from the game for a while. Um, not as long as it could have been, because I actually ended up deleting a few episodes of this. So I have had a bit of practice uh, since the last... Oh my goodness! I did not expect that to be a mimic, but then uh, I guess I should always kind of be expecting that. I actually, one thing I really like about this game is that the min mimics are just rare enough that I'm always surprised. Let's see, if I pull my arrow back just the right amount, I can hit that mimic, but it's a, okay, can I get it to jump up here? Maybe, okay, so it's gone down uh, somewhere else. Uh, let's um, deal with these one at a time. That was easy enough. Okay, so we have a Mimic, a Slime, and a Kid. Let's see if we can get the Slime to jump out of there. Come on. Come on. Okay. Now, just jump up, and there we go. Okay, so that's the Slime. Now we just have the Mimic to deal with. I don't see a good way of getting that Mimic out of there. The Mimic doesn't jump high enough to get onto this platform. It's pretty tough and pretty difficult to fight. Did I... Okay, I didn't actually kill the kid, but I scared it. Can I get down here? Okay. Um, yeah, not really equipped to deal with that. Can I get the slime to jump out of there? There we go. Okay. That's good enough. Alright, so... We're gonna have to carry the kid through the water here. So, let's kind of clear a pathway to the door, I think, and then just try and, uh, just try and get the kid out of here, I think, is the first order of business. Can't get to that without an ability or something. Oh, you couldn't trigger that arrow trap for me? That's a shame. So, what would I really like to see? Well, a heal potion, I think, would be the biggest predictor of success. Uh, another thing that I would really like is some kind of mobility option. I guess he did trigger the arrow trap. So, let's see. My belief is that uh, until you've identified a heal potion, you should just take every potion. Uh, because the heal potion is so critical to success in this game, in my opinion. At least at the level I'm at. Uh, you know, you're seeing I'm already at below half health, and I haven't even gotten to the boss yet. I'm not sure if there's a boss on every level. I've played at least some levels that felt like they didn't have a boss on them, or I at least didn't find the boss. Now this layout is uh, striking me as a little bit familiar, and I'm worried that it's going to be the Goblin King boss, who I have absolutely no idea how to fight. I guess this bat is not going to uh, play... Oh, dear. Well, that was a way for it to end. So, it's going to be a little bit rough getting back into the swing of things, but I'm hoping to you know, have things going much more consistently on this channel, uh, playing this game, hopefully every day, you know, maybe not recording it every day, but it, at the very least, get back into the swing of practicing it. Uh, as much as I practice the Umihara Kawase and the uh, skateboarding, oli oli. So, very glad to be playing this game again. I still like it a lot. I still, you know, see a lot of room for improvement, obviously. I can't even beat the first boss yet. So, uh, you know, please let me know if you have any thoughts. Uh, if you are enjoying the series, if you want to see more, if you want to see more of something else. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like, and thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.